Air Dry Clay Pots by Gizzy Greenfingers. Now I've been very busy this Easter making these pots. Now I'm no ceramic expert, but I don't think they look half bad. And if you've got some air dry clay knocking around the house somewhere, then you can make some pretty good bonsai pots too. This is my favourite, this is a GD special. Or a Gizzy Greenfingers special to you and me. And this one, well I'm going to paint this bad boy blue. And you wait, you wait in the next segment, that's going to be blue. And the thing with air dry clay is you need to waterproof it because they are not waterproof in the slightest. So the first things first, you need a decent sealant for your air dry clay pots. But they look good. I'm happy. I'm happy with that. I can work with these. I can use these. Now, I bought a 12 and a half kilo bag of air dry clay for 20 quid. That's 20 sterling. 20 sterling. That was. And I've made what, three, four, five pots and I've still got half a bag left, if not more. It's like never ending. So it is worth it, but oh yeah, yeah, all right. The sealant, the sealant wasn't cheap. That cost me 15 quid, that was, but it goes a long way. It goes a long way. Now, if you want to watch me making one of these pots, then just leave a message and say what pot you'd like to watch me make. And I will make that pot to prove to you is the Goosey Green Fingers special. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, I know. I'm special. I'm, it is special. But that's what makes them look rustic, you see. Oh yeah, the rustic pot. And that is the stuff I use. They are tondiched. Oh, tondiched. And that is a very good sealant indeed. And I think the pot at the back, we will seal that today and paint that one blue oh he painted it blue did it he's done it told you did it that is staying that because that still needs to dry out that one and this one i have put the sealant over it can you see that little sh shimmer in the sun shimmering away that's right oh look at that that's been sealed all over and it has to have a perfect seal all over because it needs to be completely waterproof not so bad if you have it indoors because you just make sure you've got the inside waterproof if not anything and this i used an acrylic paint with this one and i think that's waterproof anyway but i doubled it up with that sealant and it gives it that shine i'll just show you oh look at that shine that shine well and i love how i've how i've made the paint paintbrush marks in it. I think that adds character to the rusticness. I'm talking bullshit. But that will give it another element of waterproofness, which will make it last a lot longer. So we get to the outside the pots. This is outside my window and it's very, very wet today. Well, it's been bloody wet for months and months, to be honest. If you live in England, you know all about it. So this is my Cousin of May that's doing really bloody well. But, um, the air dry clay pot I used, well, me being numb nuts, I tried to pick it up with all the weight in like that and it went <clears throat> And if you look closely, yeah, that will break away. Um, I tried to mould it back on, if I had. It's doing a good job. But it's coming off because it's not waterproof anymore because I broke it, so I stuck it back together with super glue. But, ooh, I can't move it. It has got to stay there until we get some dry weather and then I can move it. So, that ain't, that ain't budging from that. 
So with these pots, I'm going to keep these indoors. That's right. And I've got a mimosa paducah that I'm going to be putting in this bad boy. I think my mimosa paducah. Look at that in the light. Oh, bloody hell. Bloody great. And you can do that at home. All you need is a bit of hair-dry clay. Oh, don't do that, Gizzy. And then what you have is you have a bit of artist's acrylic paint. Because I am an artist. A piss artist. Piss artist, yes. This is my favourite. I like this. I don't care what you say, but that's got character. That's a GD special. That's a GD special. Or a Gizzy Greenfinger special. I like that. And to be honest, I like this stone effect. And if I'm going to keep it indoors, what I will do is I will waterproof the inside and leave it like that because I like that effect. This, that is all waterproof now. Look at, look at that effect. Bloody fingerprints a lot. It's a great effect. And do you know how I did that? Do you want me to tell you my secret of how I got all them patterns in there like that? I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you. That's right. A log. That's right. Before I put it on the fire, I was like, yeah, we're gonna make some patterns. Uh, it's great patterns, it's a shame you can't see any of them. But yeah. So that is it. That is the air dry clay pot bonanza. And um, the next video I will be posting will be me repotting my mimosa paducah in this pot. I like that. I'm proud of it. I'm proud of that and I'm proud of that. That was easy. I'm still proud of it. Just need to put a plant in it and then we're away. And if you have enjoyed watching this then please do not forget to like, share and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Ta-da for now. Gizzy Green Fingers.